like to each their own man some people just gotta learn to be like even if you thought like okay i get i i if i stretch my mind far enough i can get to the point where i'm like ah oh, these people are fucking up right but to get to the next step which is i gotta tell these people that they're fucking up seems like such a bizarre fucking so crazy to me like tone it down man who the fuck do you think you are what the fuck is up internet i'm that dude swainzilla aka old guy with too much time on his hands Coming at you from the man cave. And this is crazy ass news. The whole idea behind this series is that I scour the internet for crazy, recent, non-political news stories that I don't know anything about. I choose articles based solely on their headlines, and then I read through them uh, while talking shit the whole time. Thrupple defend relationship amid backlash from trolls. I mean, I get it. Uh, the idea of having two girlfriends does sound like a blast. But then I remember uh, how many times I've failed at making just one woman happy. A Thrupple have opened up about what it's like to be in a three-way relationship, saying their setup is no different to a traditional monogamous one. Clearly, it's different, right? Clearly, it's it's way different. A monogamous relationship is just two people. Like, you throw a third in there, and... Dude, <laughs> I try to think of how, many, how difficult it is in a relationship to pick dinner when there's just two of you. Like, where are you going to go when you have, like, Texas Roadhouse, Jersey Mike's, you have the Chinese restaurant, you have all these different options. And sometimes it's hard just for one motherfucker to choose somewhere to eat, let alone two. And now three, good luck. Like, Jesus. Where would you go? I mean, I, I think you just have to go to a buffet. You just have to go to Hostess <laughs> or Wegmans and eat in the food court. Like, you're kind of fucked. Anyway. <laughs> Alana and Kevin first met Megan on Op an operations manager on a dating app called 3Fun, specifically designed for people after any type of relationship desire. That's interesting wording. What do you mean by that? They had signed up looking for something fun with Elena wanting to explore her sexuality after being getting to know... But after getting to know Megan better, the trio decided to make things official. Wow! So this couple go on um, 3Fun, which I've never heard of, and they're like, we're looking for any type of relationship desire. I mean, this is Australia. Okay, so that, may, that might be why the wording is kind of funky. Um, I mean, it's a cute thruple. I mean, they're all like handsome. Uh, he's handsome. They're cute. Happy camper? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't tell from the shit-eating grin. Look, this guy might be the happiest-looking motherfucker ever. So these... They're pretty... They look happy as fuck, too. I mean, if the... Dude, this is the goal. If you can take a picture with who, whatever your relationship status is, and you're all fucking smiling like this, then you won. Like, who gives a fuck what the trolls say? You won. He's a happy camper. If they wore hats, they'd be like, they'd say the same shit. Good for them. The Thruple have been together for two years and now do everything as a trio, from sharing a bed to eating meals and are hoping to buy a house. They've started a TikTok account to share their life together, with a recent video racking up over 4 million views, but revealed they are often met with backlash from trolls. Yeah, I mean, I think any time you run into that kind of shit, it's jealousy. I mean, people are like, yeah, you should do this. Just because they're fucking miserable with their own lives. You know what I mean? Why can't you just tip a cap to some motherfuckers who are smiling? Look at these people. You think they give a fuck? 
You think these three motherfuckers care that you're salty about the way that they have decided to live their lives? Fuck, mind your own business. You know what I mean? I mean, then again, they are posting videos of the TikToks. Um, and the, like, I'm interested in this. As soon as I saw this headline, I was like, what the fuck is a thruple? <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, our relationship is normal, they say. I mean, it's normal to them, and that's all that fucking matters. I mean, uh, anyway. So, Kevin and I were together prior, having started dating in 2017, Alana. An online, an online clothing boutique owner told Need to Know Co. UK. Whatever the fuck, it was some website in the UK. I was bi-curious and wanted to explore my sexuality, so I brought it up to Kevin to see if he would want to do that with me kevin's like what <laughs> kevin's probably just like vibing out watching like reruns of game of thrones or something in the living room or playing xbox or something and fucking and, and she strolls in what the fuck's her name again alana strolls in and is like hey you you want to help me explore more of my vicarious fucking sexuality kevin was he probably like put the controller right the fuck down right <laughs> <laughs> we were initially just looking for something fun, nothing too serious, but after talking with Megan and getting to know her, everyone wanted to make it a permanent thing. I mean, the find... It's hard enough to find one motherfucker, right? It's hard to find one person that you vibe with. But then you have, like, three different fucking personalities, like, fucking ricocheting off each other, and somehow they've made it work? Wow. Fucking kudos to them. Kudos to them. It probably is going to fucking end in a disaster. But for as long as it lasts, it's probably going to be... It's probably pretty cool, right? I don't know. We were drawn to commitment... or We were drawn to committing to this type of relationship after talking every day for a month. And after meeting in person at a cafe, we realized we, were immediately, we immediately clicked really well. Wait, 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 wait. So, they're just bullshitting on this website. And then they met in person at a cafe and decided this is how... Hey, they schemed up this plan? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We were initially just looking for something fun. Getting to know where everyone wanted to make it a permanent thing. I mean, the, the, the girls are vibing, though, right? Like, they legitimately look happy. I mean, motherfuckers can fake it, but I don't think you'd be bragging about it on social media. Meh. For clicks. Is this like a fucking clout chase thing? I don't know. It just seems like you just meet at a cafe and it's love at first sight be between three people? I don't know. We also love being around each other. And since it has worked out really well for us. And since it has worked out really well for us. The Thruple from Northern Colorado. They're just from Colorado? Why am I thinking this is Australia? They're just from Colorado? Believe that their relationship is no different to a normal one. I mean, who fucking quantifies what normal is? Get the fuck out of here. In this day and age, right? Like... There is no nuclear family. If there is, that's the weird thing, right? Like, if it's a fucking mom, dad, and three kids, two boys and a girl, and everything's fucking hunky-dory, everybody goes to college, that shit is fucking rare compared to, look at these young people just fucking having fun in Colorado. Weed's legal out there. <laughs> so they're probably just winging it. Fucking having fun. Good for them. Alana added... We all sleep together in a king-size bed, and we often switch around or take turns sleeping with each other every night. We have intimate moments one-on-one, -on -one, as well as all together. We don't get jealous of each other. I mean... I don't see them getting... I mean, I, I guess... Once you're... If you're able to make that kind of a commitment at a fucking cafe... I feel like you have to stick to it. If you got jealous and was kind of like salty about shit... You'd kind of feel like a heel. <laughs> like, you kind of feel like an asshole, right? So you kind of have to, even if it's something does bother, you kind of got to swallow that, right? 
we'll continue reading here. In fact, we do not ex experience jealousy in our relationship at all. We all just do our best to give equal attention to each partner. And in terms of date nights, the trio always make sure to set aside time for each other. I wonder how that works. Like, if they're just all... Like, is he... So the girls are getting one-on-one -on -one here in this picture anyway, but he's probably taking the picture. Eh, maybe she, she's got a selfie arm action. So they hang out, then she and him hang out, then she and him hang out. They all hang out together. Like, that's pretty interesting. I wonder how they fucking uh, work that. Like, so that people, because people get a little, like, I mean, it's competitive, na there's a competitive nature to just about anything. So there's got to be, I don't know, I wonder. if Can they really manage making everything equal? Or feel equal to each other? I don't know, that's tough. Unless they're just fucking smitten with each other. Like, if the fucking chemicals are fucking mixing up, the synapses are fucking reacting, and fucking, you know what I mean? The, uh... The pheromones are fucking, you know what I mean, doing their thing. You can't hate. I mean, you can't hate it. Who are these fucking people crying about? These people having a, enjoying their life, to, to enjoying their lives. Like to each their own, man. Some people just got to learn to be like. Even if you thought like, okay, I get. I I, if I stretch my mind far enough, I can get to the point where I'm like, ah, oh, these people are fucking up right but to get to the next step which is i gotta tell these people that they're fucking up seems like such a bizarre fucking so crazy to me like tone it down man who the fuck do you think you are right <laughs> like relax granted these people are putting their shit out public you know what i mean and it's in the ether so i i get that people have I feel like I would I would be more curious about how it works than like bitching about what they're doing. You know what I mean? They're they're making the shit public. I'd be like, how? I'm curious more about how the shit works than if it's fucking moral or right or normal, whatever the fuck that is. Like some people just got to get the fucking stick out of their ass and let people fucking do their thing. Like I don't know. I don't understand having a fucking a, an emotional response to what fucking complete strangers are choosing to do with the, their own lives. It's fucking bizarre world. It really is. Stop it. Get some help. She said, we all go to the movies. We really like going out to dinner and we love trying new places. Our favorite thing to do all together would be exploring nature. We will spend days out driving around the mountains, finding new lakes and streams, fishing, and sometimes hiking. What? Uh, well, I guess they're in Colorado. Colorado, they can get away. They, there's probably all kinds of fucking crazy shit you can do out in nature in Colorado. Shit. Honestly, for us, being in a thruple relationship is not that different from a traditional monogamous one. The main difference is just that you have an additional partner whom you love and care for. And whose feelings you need to consider. I mean, they sound like they're just... It just sounds like it's their thing. It fits them, at least for the moment. I don't know. I mean, if you call yourself a thruple, that's kind of weird. Yeah, we're in a thruple. Or, I mean, I feel like we'd, we're all together. I don't know. Kevin and Alana met first and later reached out to Megan to join their relationship, right? There's a picture of them, all to, or them two together. They're just vibing. You can tell that they're like, hey, we caught you. <laughs> we saw you from across the bar. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe they're throwing off, to be honest. One of the main positives is that there is, a, is double the amount of love and support. Also, for me and Megan, we are both bisexual, so this relationship dynamic allows us to fully experience both of our sexual preferences. Okay. We all live together. Megan moved in just a year after we began dating. However, the thruple do find some downsides to the three-way relationship at times. Okay. So this is what I'm curious about. Like, it can't be all ups. There's got to be some downs. She added, it would be that it just takes longer to decide on things. 
Exactly. Look at, <laughs> for example, what do we eat and what do we watch? Yes, exactly what I was saying. That is the, that's the negative. Like imagine, it's probably got to, they got to like plan days ahead of time. And, one, oh my God, when one of them changes their mind, oh my God. Or if they're just in the mood, I guess they're all aware of what they're eating on a regular basis if they all live together. Um, they're all probably eating the same shit every day. But man, good luck with that. <laughs> a problem I do not want to have. Um, yeah, example, what to eat and what to watch. The thruple also feel lucky in that their family members and friends have been very supportive. Okay, that's kind of unexpected. She said, all of our friends have been really accepting and welcoming to this new relationship. I can see the friends being down. For the most part, our families have, yeah, for the most part, our families has been as well. I wonder, I mean, if they're, they're out on social media, they don't give a fuck. Like, their families know. I wonder what that's all about. The family dynamic is what makes this kind of, like, anything kind of weird. Like, any, if you're, uh, any kind of, like, alternate, uh, alternate relationship or non-traditional thing, I mean, a family are supposed to, like, have your back, but they're gonna be, like, the most judging <laughs> and fucking condescending motherfuckers you have to deal with in this situation. I can see every time they show up to fucking dinners, I can see people, like, whispering in the back. Like Thanksgiving or something? Like, yeah, the aunts are talking, the uncles are talking, everybody's talking about these motherfuckers. That's kind of fucked up. Um, trio. The trio meant negativity with love. The trio have also shared details about the relationship on tech TikTok, and this is at Camp Thruple. I mean, they're really fucking owning Thruple. It sounds kind of weird to me. Um, I mean like a title for your relationship it seems like i don't know it almost it makes me feel like it's insincere i don't know why i don't know why they they, they could be totally head over heels with each, in love with each other but the thruple makes me feel like it's a campaign i i don't know but anyway so and uh the relationship on tiktok and say the feedback is mostly positive though some trolls have come out of the woodwork Alana said, the response is primarily positive, and we've actually had a lot of people reach out to us asking our advice because they are interested in this type of relationship, or they are fighting out their sexuality as well, figuring out their sexuality as well. Da, 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 da. So that has been really cool and able to help others and shed light on this type of relationship. But there is always the flip side of the coin, and we do get negative responses as well. Most people that or most of the time people disapprove due to religious beliefs. Yeah, like it's unmoral or whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. Uh, we understand that everyone has their own belief system and journey in life. So even with the negativity, the uh, we always try to meet that with love, and we don't let it influence how we act or respond. That's tough because like you could get praised. Like they they probably get a lot of people asking, "Hey, how I'm interested." But that one motherfucker that's like. Jeez, you're going to hell. You know what I mean? That shit probably fucking ruins your day. So I wonder how they handle that, like, collectively. It's hard enough to handle that shit just as one person. Um, we just want people to know that we that there are different types of relationships and forms of love. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ, how obvious. I mean, dude, you have to be just brain dead not to realize that that's the reality. Like, <laughs> I don't know how you fucking... Ign it's so insane. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Imagine fucking... I just... Dude, the people that fucking comment on these people's TikToks with, you're going to hell, or any of that, like, dude, most... You would not want to hang out with these people. Like, miserable fucks. Clearly miserable fucks. Um, our plans for the future would be to eventually buy a house where we can have some land to grow our own food and have some animals. What? Since we love camping, we would also love to have a campsite of our own where we can host events. All right. TikTok viewers are divided over the thruple. Yeah, I mean, what's the grow our own food and have some animals? So they want to be farmers? 
Are they uh, is Liz at com, uh, like a commute and then they're like host events? Are they trying to start a commune or something? I don't know. That was that's kind of weird. TikTok viewers divided over Thruple. In one video posted their TikTok, the trio reveal what a day in the life is like as a three way couple. In the clip, Alana, Megan, and Kevin can be seen snuggling up in bed as Kevin kisses their heads. Megan then makes them all breakfast before they head out for a bit of a uh, for a bit of shopping. They then all went to on a walk together, again taking turns to hold hands before heading out to grab a takeaway and cozy up to watch a Harry Potter movie at home. I mean I mean relation you do kind of just get into if you're in a relationship for a while, things just you don't really think about when you hold hands or when you like so it just kind of becomes natural but I, you just kind of wonder how that develops because like in a quote unquote normal normal relationship you have like you're influenced by like media and stuff you see it like normally you I mean i mean you if you're born you grew up with a mother and a father you know what I mean? You know, separated or not, but you see like relationships growing up, and those are just more common. Um, so you kind of can like uh, copy it. You know what I mean? In a way, which p probably seems a little more comfortable than just figuring it out as you go. But again, I mean, who knows? It's crazy. Um, Meg Megan's cooking, hooking them up with breakfast. That's pretty sweet. Um, and then they're just chilling on the couch watching Harry Potter. That's pretty wild. Uh, the video has over 321,000 likes and thousands of comments from supportive users. Pat, com Pat commented, man is living the dream. Yeah, man's living the dream. <laughs> Connor added, how does it feel to live my dream? Someone else joked, not a bad idea when the, with the cost of living. Yeah, I mean, that's that's true, too. Um, Shelly said, you guys are awesome. Olivia wrote, cutest cup thruple ever. While some TikTokers weren't as keen on the relationship, Louise, Louise, oh my God, that's like the original Karen name, said, I'm sorry, a what? Oh my God, you can hear her fucking voice. Raul added a thruple followed by skull emojis. Like a thruple and then he's dead? I don't know. I can never, I would get too jealous of someone else. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's like the fear but if they were, if, you know what I mean, these people seem like they know what they're about. And I feel like they met the, they, they hooked up in that cough, that cafe. And they started talking about the possibilities and they were like, that's fucking what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. And it's just worked for them. I mean, you got, it's awesome. Good for them. Um, this should end very well added. Yeah, and that's my thought is like, at some point. You know what I mean? Not not to curse anybody or say that relationships are a waste of time because some a lot of relationships do work, but also a lot of relationships end. I mean, what is it? The fucking fail rate of marriage is 50%. So, I mean, not all fucking relationships are meant to last forever. So you kind of got to wonder, like, you know, some relationships are pretty fucked up when they end when it's just two people. So how's that going to be when it's three people? Um... They're always a duo in a trio. Ooh, there's all they're always a duo in a trio, wrote Saber. Yeah, I mean I feel like Megan is kinda on the outside. Right? That's the whole article. Yeah, I feel like let's look at these motherfuckers, because they're happy as shit, dude. Look at these people. Yeah, I mean Megan and the dude are have definitely more they've just been they've known each other longer they've been together for a while so I mean there's definitely going to be a little more fucking um teamwork on that end I mean like com camaraderie or whatever um but I mean I don't know how you could hate on these people I feel like if that's the worst that they've heard though I I kind of expect them to hear like worse shit than that like, uh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, that's not that bad. You kind of was, you kind of expect like people to shit on them, but um, good for them, man. I mean, in this day and age, if you can find any fucking happiness, man, grasp and hold on to that shit. I mean, people will say, like, uh, 
I mean, granted, this these people have lucked out. I mean, I don't know how you find two people, let like one person, let alone two people, is hard enough. Um, I tip my cap to these people. I hope they. I hope it works out for them. I'm curious. Uh, I should start following their TikTok, but I don't have TikTok because I don't like the Chinese. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's all I have on this one. Catch you later.